Chima Resen, Total Nerdery Channel here, and we are going to do a little tutorial of Star Maid, and we are going to go through movement, engines, and energy. So, um, if you don't know what Star Maid is, it's basically a game that's kind of the crossover between Freelancer and uh, Minecraft. So it's a space simulating game where you cruise through the space and there are pirates that shoot you down and stuff. Basically, um, you get money to build your cool ships by either mining or, like me, scavenging other ships by first shooting them down and then um, scavenging, taking all their parts and sell them. Anyways, um, we are going to go how to build a ship. And this is also game and uh, they have an alpha that you can use for free uh, until they release the game. So, um, here you go into inventory right here by pressing I, and here you can see you had a ship core. Put that ship core on you, and then you go into space, and this is a bit weird, it's the only block you do this with, and then you press X, and yep, we want to create a new ship. So, we spawned our ship core. Now, we have power reactor module and thruster module. So, it's much easier to build if you go to your ship core and press R. And now you're in build mode. And if you press space again, you're in flight mode. And now we can move around. And we don't have any engines. So, well, we're kind of really slow. We press C to align ourselves right again. And, well, press space again and we are in build mode. This build mode is awesome. It's a bit weird, but um, the energy works in this way, that you place them to get energy. They are power reactor core module. And you could build a block with them, like, but that's so inefficient. So what you want to do is want to build them in uh, like lines like this, or uh, like, oops. You want to spread them out. Um, that's just uh, the way they work. So we are going to do a little cross. And oops, now we didn't have... Excuse me. So we built after this cross shape and now they're spread out and they're generating much more power than you would if you would have a block. It's silly. You really want to spread them out. Otherwise you lose a lot of power you could have. Um, and now we're going to shop because, uh, oops, no shopping range, just going to move our ship a bit closer to the shop. And we are super slow as we don't have any thrusters, it's just the sheer power of the little ship core that makes us move now. You press shift to slow down, Ooh, like that. Now we can see up in the right we have shopping range. Press C, stabilize, going to build mode again. Uh, now we're going to shop, general. And then we have, here we have the power reactor, module line, and we have some power capacitators. Um, this works the other way around. Um, these are good when you build a block with them. And basically, these generates powers, and these power capacitors stores powers. Um, and these actually want to be built in a block to work good. You don't actually need these, but um, if you have a low power production, um, you can have these as a saved backup. Like if you're firing heavy lasers or anything, you might want to have this power backup with you. So it takes some time for it to go down. Now we want uh, thrusters. And we are just going to place a little ship hull on this one to make it look a little better. Also, you want ship hull, or actually, this is this is grey standard armor. That's like regular armor. Um, you want at least regular armor to protect your ship because if you don't have any armor. Um, Pirates and other players maybe will shoot your parts off and kill you and well You want to have armor 
because otherwise your components will die. Okay, and we didn't have any more armor, but you get the point of it why you need armor. And now you press these thrusters modules, like here, and you can see they are oriented this way. And we block the ship core with that one. Oops. Like that. By pressing space we go into flight mode. And by holding shift you can scroll out to see. And now we have lots of thrusters. And now you can see that we can accelerate. And we basically can fly around. So this is how to make this easy maneuverable stuff and of course you want more armor and you want guns and such but we will become our cannons, missiles and tractor beams and damage beams and other types of weapons and how to color them and stuff in the next video. If we go into build mode you can see here up uh, in the left middle that we have mass, length, height power, thrust, and turning speed, and uh, well, the shields. We don't have any shields, but uh, we have all the stats for the ship there. Also in the bottom right you can see the power. If we would go out and per se remove, so we just removed all the uh, power reactor modules and the capacitors and we go into flight mode again oops. and you can see the power bar in the right that it does go down and eventually we will have no power and if we put on one of these uh, one of these power reactors and go into flight mode again you can see that it slowly loads up it again and that's like slowly going down so you can see that to keep this ship maintained you need at least two of these however now we have no weapons and they are the ones that take the most um, most power therefore we need uh, more power reactor modules and might also want to have some of these capacitors so you can store up power to fire heavy weapons. Well, that basically concludes it all. Engines and energy to uh, move around in your spaceship. And well, thank you very much for watching. Um, the friend that showed me this game, uh, Asnow, is having a uh, Hamachi server and it might be so that we will open up this server and uh, well, play together with all of you that wants to. So keep updated to check for any news of it. So, well, thank you very much for watching. Jimmy is out.